We seem to be the laughing stock of Europe. Christmas is partially cancelled already. Fixing blankets and things like that, there isn't the staff to do it. So the shelves are going to be bare. It's a devastation. Uh, it shouldn't be happening at all in this country. It's the biggest crisis in farming I've ever seen. I've lived through foot and mouth twice. I don't think anybody else in the world has ever killed livestock because we haven't been able to deal with it. It's just, it's a first. Hiya pigs. We've just not got enough butchers. We're only 40% self-sufficient in pork in this country, so there isn't an oversupply. Uh, we just do not have enough butchers to cut them up. So the pigs will be slaughtered, but they get to the end of the line, nobody to cut them up, and they have to shut the plant down. We've had the foreign workers here, they got stuck here when COVID hit, and then travel restrictions were lowered, and they went home, and then we stuck visas on, meaning they couldn't come back. Um, as easily, and lo and behold, we've got a crisis. We have been saying for the last six months this was happening, and we've not been listened to until it gets to be such a point that pigs are going to be killed on farm. Every week we have 100 pigs born, and we can't stop that. It takes 10 months to stop production. So if we stop today, it's 10 months before we, we turn the pig supply off. And if we don't produce the pigs, we get fined by the supermarkets for breach of contract. And if we make them too big, we're getting fined for making them too big. But if they don't take them, they keep on growing. So it's a no-win situation at the moment. You should never throw food away. A lot of, a lot of uh, around the media at the minute is about um, passing food down to the poverty line and, and helping people that need it and we're just basically just throwing food in the bin um, good protein that we've worked really hard to, to get, to grow looked after them and, and they're being wasted One of the main comments that Boris Johnson said on the Andrew Marr show was was um, they're going to die anyway. I hate to break it to you, Andrew, but uh, I'm afraid our food processing industry does involve the killing a lot of animals. Which, yes, they are correct, but not to be thrown away. They need to be used. They don't, don't they can't die in vain as, as such. It'll be, it'll be terrible. I don't think I'd be able to be around while they get shot shot, piled up, waited for the knacker man, taken away and, and burnt. It's horrible. We had a, a farm fire oh, uh, 10 years ago and that, that was horrible. That really hit us and that was only 80 pigs and we're talking about thousands. Farming, I've been farming all my life, since we were 14, 15 year old. Like from beef farms, dairy farms, pig farms, poultry farms, you won't hear me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a devastation. Uh, it, it shouldn't be happening at all in this country. You, you don't hear it in, in other countries, you know. Like, it's, it's a shame what's happening. Since, since we entered the Brexit, the, the land trade is, has gone sky high because we're not exporting them. The same with the beef, that's what's I ate. But, but since this all's happened, all the pork in the street, it's, it's just gone on rock bottom and it shouldn't be happening. Christmas is partially cancelled already. Pigs in blankets and things like that haven't been made yet. They usually start making those in June. There isn't the staff to do it. So the shelves are going to be bare of all the little goodies, all the platters of different pork products you have for your Christmas parties. So that's not going to happen and it's just going to get worse if we don't get these butchers in. 
We seem to be the laughing stock of Europe. I'm talking to German, Dutch and Japanese TV crews um, because they just can't understand how we've let this happen and neither can I. The Brexit causes about 95% of the pork industry eating rock bottom, you know, and the government, they're not bothered about agriculture. In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't, then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.